a very good season last year for the Cougars of the College of Charleston in his third season now, entering his third season, Earl Grant, the head coach. One of the reasons why it was a very good season, Cameron Johnson joining us right now as well. First of all, congratulations on a very successful season last year, but a chance to build on it this year with, I'm sure the rest of the coaches don't want to hear this, five returning starters. Yeah, I, I appreciate the, uh, the, you know, the, the recognition. Obviously, the, the players and, and our coaching staff understand that, you know, we just got to focus on the process and work hard every day. You know, we got a good group coming back, but, but I think our guys weren't very satisfied with how the, the year ended last year, and we want to continue to try to build a program and move it forward. And, and so we're focusing on working hard every day and seeing if we can continue to make that progress. And I'm sure a lot of that is embodied in a guy like, uh, like Cameron who – not only can score, but was on part of the all CAA defensive team as well. That versatility, I know, is something that you are very, very proud of. Uh, for sure. Uh, it just helps our team. Uh, it helps me as a person, as a player, uh, knowing I can go both ways. It's, uh, it's, a, it's relieves other players, and then uh, knowing that it's just not me that can do that, it makes our team really special. really only have two seniors on the roster, so where does the leadership come from in your mind? Uh, I mean, the two seniors definitely lead. I lead as well, uh, being an upperclassman, although I'm a junior. You know, I've been here with Coach Grant for the three years. And uh, we kind of self-govern ourselves. Every once in a while, someone has to step up. But uh, we have a lot of independent minds, and, and we come together. And we, we're on the same track, on the same goal. So it's not too much where one person has to always stand out because everybody's always, you know, probably on the same page. You have, needless to say, uh, uh, some very impress impressive freshman last year, Earl. Uh, and we talk about a young man in Jarrell Brantley who was the CAA Rookie of the Year. What did you see out of him last year that maybe you weren't even expecting to see? You know, I, I think the biggest thing that probably uh, I wasn't expecting to see is his ability to uh, lead by example. You know, he's always a guy that's in the gym first every day. Uh, he's always the last guy to leave, you know, in the gym working on his game. And so he did a great job of leading by example as a freshman. And I thought that his uh, energy level was contagious. Uh, you know, and I think a guy like Cam really fed off of it where Cam is another energy guy and he's a guy that likes to work. But I think, you know, his Jarrell Brantley's affectious you know, attitude and his energy really rubbed off on our team. And that's the thing that probably that, that really surprised me the most for a young guy to come in and, and make an impact by leading by example. Let's mention the other returning starters, Marquise Pointer, Peyton Hulsey, Nick Harris, all young players, all players who really just stepped right in. Did you guys get, kind of get a sense at some point last year, man, this is, this is a group we can go a long way with at some point? For sure, and that uh, that feeling started that summer, like competing against each yeah. other, going at it. <laughs> like uh, Marquise Pointer skipped his freshman year. He came <laughs> right out, and he seemed like uh, he knew what he was doing. He messed well, and uh, the competition in the summertime really showed that we were going to be special from the beginning. You know, it does bear repeating that uh, when we talked to Earl a couple of years ago, you literally had just gotten the job. So you really didn't have a chance to kind of set the tone the way you wanted early, but you were able to kind of hit the reset button last year. What was the biggest change in your mind that you had to accomplish that has now kind of led you on this really great upward path? Well, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just getting the guys to understand the defense and rebound. You know, if you can defend and rebound, you got a chance to win. Yeah. And, you know, and so, so many times you can get caught up in all the things you have to do on the other side of the ball that you, you know, and, and offensively, we have a lot of firepower. We got more firepower now than we've ever had. But if you can defend and rebound, you have a chance. So trying to get the guys to understand that based on my experiences, you know, being in programs that had great success that made it to the NCAA tournament, you know, and was it a part of March Madness, the way we did it was defense and rebounding. So getting the guys to know that was the first thing we had to establish, not giving people easy baskets, making them work for everything they get. And now hopefully with the, you know, the talent level and the experience we have, we can add more points. So. Uh, but we got to stay true to who we are, and, and that's what we've tried to do from day one. And, and I'm excited that the guys have bought in, and, and we believe that we can win games if we defend and rebound. We mentioned these five starters. Who else are going to play some key roles for you off the bench? Well, you know, we got a, a really good bench. I mean, you know, um, we got a lot of talented guys. Certainly, we have Joe Cheely coming back, you know, from an injury. Right. That's a very special player. Uh, and then we have another guy, Grant Riller, who, who sat out. Both, uh, both Joe and Grant sat out and watched. 
these guys, Jarrell and Cam, go out and fight every night. And so they had to watch. I think they learned from that, but they are very good offensive players. They both are very energetic. So I think they can bring something to our team. And then we, we went out and got four freshmen uh, that can come in and help us, specifically two of them. I think Chavez Goodwin, a 6'9 kid that's really long and athletic and talented, he should be able to give us a lift off the bench as well as Jalen McManus, 6'7 wing player who's very talented and long. So I think both of those kids will step in and help us. There's another kid, uh, Osanachi Smart, that's a big physical guy that maybe will help us as well. So we have some depth. The players are going to have to buy into it, uh, knowing that the strength is in numbers. And if we do that, we can have a really good team. You know, Cam uh, f comes from a very athletic background. Both mom and dad played at the University of Missouri. Dad went on to play pro football. But as I said to Omar Pruitt earlier, you're also a coach's son. That coach happens to be mom. <laughs> what did you What did you learn from her that you're carrying over now into your basketball career? Man, so much growing up, being a gym rat, standing in the gym. She's always in the gym. I'm in the gym with her high school <laughs> girls team. And uh, the fundamentals, just from day one, like I want to dribble the ball with the right hand and just go out and play. And you know, son, slow down. Like here's <laughs> how we got to do things and free throws using the backboard just from day one. So she's been a great inspiration, a great help, and why I'm a, ball, a good ball player now. Are you guys excited to have the CAA men's basketball tournament coming into the hometown of Charleston? You know, I think it's great, uh, really for our fans. You know, the CAA is a great league, you know, ninth rated league out of 32 conferences. That's really, really high. Uh, so it's one of the best mid-major leagues in the country. And so I think for our fans, especially when we were in another league for so long, the Southern Conference, I think it'll be good for them to have that tournament there and, and have a chance to watch each and every day in the tournament us play against quality teams. I think that'll do something for them and understanding, you know, to be, give more support uh, and really come out and, and, and support the CAA as well as support us being in that league. I think that'll be great. Um, you know, so I'm excited about it. You know, obviously, whether you're in Charleston or Baltimore or, you know, just in some barn with no <laughs> fans, you got to go out and compete. So it doesn't really matter the venue, but I think it'll be exciting for me and my players and my staff to have that tournament in North Charleston Coliseum. But we are excited to be in Charleston as well. We look very forward to it, and we look forward to having another successful year at the College of Charleston. Earl Grant, Cameron Johnson, thanks so much for being with us. Good luck this year, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so much.